Hi, my name is Wayne and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review what I did on a previous video of how to install a license plate uh, bracket to your car without drilling into it. We're going to go back in time uh, to when I first got this car and then we're going to move ahead forward and I'm going to show you another technique of how to install a license plate uh, bracket to your car without drilling into it. So let's get started. I actually did a search on how to install one of these, and some of them said, um, oh, um, install in the front license plate without drilling into your, your um, car. And I'm um, pretty sure they still drill into the car, so that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to install this on my car without actually drilling on the car. Um, let me go ahead and take a step back so you can see the car in full. All right, so we take a step back and um, get a um, complete look at the entire car. And there's no way, no way in the world, I'm going to drill into this bumper. All right, so we went back in time, and now um, this is what the license plate bracket looked like when I installed it using wires. But I'm going to show you another technique. Now, this technique that I used, I didn't drill into the bumper, it was too nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about something called a tow bar. And a tow bar is basically when your car is stuck on the road, you have this little thing here. Take it out. We don't want to use any tools to move this out. And this is what you call, um, this is where the tow bar goes into. Now, let me show you what the tow bar looks like. The tow bar should be in your trunk. Um, where the spare tire would normally be, but let me show you what it looked like. This is what the tow bar basically looked like, and the purpose for this, this is for should you be stuck on the road and they have to call the tow truck, they're going to ask you what's the make and model of your car, and they're going to notice that this car requires a flatbed truck, not a tow truck. And basically what you do, the driver is going to ask you, the tow truck driver is going to ask you, Where's your tow bar? And this is normally located in your trunk. He's going to put it in here. He's going to come in here. And he's going to turn it. And then what he's going to do, he's going to install um, a winch. And he's going to pull this onto the flatbed truck. And of course, you know, with this car, if you try to tow it, the, the wheels are locked. So that's part of the security feature. But this is what you call a tow bar. Made out of metal. Pretty durable. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna screw this out, and this is our this is our tow bar. Alright, so let's look at the package that I ordered from eBay. This is the tow bar license plate bracket. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. And here go our or how would you say our tow bar, uh, part of the license plate bracket. Let's look at the rest of this stuff. Take this stuff out. All right. And like I said, I ordered from eBay, and um, this is basically what it looked like. And our license plate would fit on this. And this is the accessories for it. And basically shows you the instructions. So let's go ahead, let's make sure that this fits into the tow bar in the car. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna insert it. And it, and it fits pretty nice. All right, this is a three quarter um, inch socket, all right, three quarters, take it, put in here, that's a half inch socket, and this is what we're going to use to um, tighten the tow bar into that, so I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to follow the instructions and make it, we're going to take a look at all the, the accessories, take it out of the, let's take this out of the package. All right, now we have the, the, the metal bracket. All right, so looking at the instructions, um, where we have the accessories here, that's the lock washer. Right uh, here it prevents the screw from unscrewing itself. And we have that piece, and we have that piece, and we have that piece, and we have the screw, which is according to the diagram. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook up, uh, let me see my finger, we're gonna hook up that piece first and then this one, and then that one, and then the screw. 
we're gonna hook it up to the tow bar uh, first before we put on the license plate bracket. So let's do it, do that now. This is already tight, and I tightened it by hand. I didn't use a ratchet, uh, my half inch ratchet, I tightened it by hand just for a demonstration. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, take this piece here, and this piece is gonna hook up here like that, and then we're gonna hook up um, this piece and then after that piece, we're going to hook up this one, and then we're going to put the screw. So let's go ahead and let's try that. So this is going to go like this. This is going to go like that. And of course, this is going to go in the front there. And of course, the screw is going to go right in between. So let's go ahead and put that right in between. It's going to look like that. We're going to come here. Let me do everything by, by hand first before I tighten it. Alright, go ahead and take that, just tighten it a little bit. You might have to put a washer um, behind there for the space and the gap to make this come out. You don't want the license plate bracket interfering with this when you want to open your, your uh, hood. So this is the, the end result of it. And of course I didn't make it tight because this is just a demonstration. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to take the license plate holder and we're going to line up these four holes on it. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to take the license plate bracket and we're going to line it up to the four holes. Such as there. All the holes are lined up. And let's see what the end result look like when we attach the screws. We're going to want to make sure we have the clearance for the hood when it opens and closes. Alright, so we got the first screw in. We'll put in the second screw. Come here, line it up. All right, so we're just tighten it up a little bit. Take the third screw, this one here, line it with the hole. And I'm not doing it tight because this is just for demonstration use. We'll do the last one here. Come here and we'll tighten that up. And then of course, this is, let me zoom out. This is starting to come um, into play, the license plate. And that's my original, when I did the uh, original video when I got the car. But this is if you don't want to do what I did and just order a tow bar license plate bracket. And then your license plate will go on the bracket and you have these remaining screws um, to install the bracket and of course the screws will come in here. Alright, let's take a preview of what the license plate was going to look like once you attach it. Let me zoom out and basically you, you line up the holes. I'm going to use two hands to put the top two and then I'll do the bottom two so you can have like a good look at it. Alright, so I put the two screws in. You have a little feel of what the license plate looked like. Let's come out, come out of it. So, you know, like I said, you can either drill into your bumper, which, you know, if you're like me, you don't want to do that. You can uh, run um, cables, thin cables, so hook up what I did in the middle. Or you can get a, a tow bar license plate bracket and do this. And this is only required for the states that require the license plate in the front and in the back of the car. There are states in the USA that only require plates in the back, good for them. But this is only for uh, the state of New York, which requires the license plate in both the front and back. So if you don't want to drill into your bumper, this is a third alternative. And like I've always said on my channel, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon.